Hello and welcome to this educational video series from EPC LAN, where we delve into the fundamentals of green energy technologies. I'm Sonia, with over 20 years of experience in the energy sector, and today, we'll explore the basic process of alkaline electrolyzers. In this video, we'll build on our previous discussion on the components of alkaline electrolyzers, diving into how they work, the steps involved, and how gases are separated and purified. This topic is part of our ongoing educational series on green energy, including green hydrogen technologies. Water Input Our journey begins with the water input. Alkaline electrolyzers require deionized water, which is pure water without any dissolved salts or minerals. This is essential to ensure that the electrolyzer operates efficiently and produces high-purity gases. The deionized water is fed into the electrolyzer, where it will undergo the electrolysis process. Electrolysis Next, we move to the electrolysis stage. In an alkaline electrolyzer, an electric current is passed through the water, which acts as an electrolyte. This current splits the water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen gases. The electrolysis process is facilitated by the use of an electrolyte, typically a potassium hydroxide solution, which enhances the efficiency of the reaction. During electrolysis, the water molecules are broken down into their basic elements. At the cathode, hydrogen ions gain electrons and form hydrogen gas. At the anode, water molecules lose electrons and form oxygen gas. Gas Separation Once the gases are produced, the next crucial step is gas separation. In alkaline electrolyzers, a diaphragm or separator is used to keep the hydrogen and oxygen gases apart. This is essential to prevent the two gases from mixing, which could be hazardous. The diaphragm is a key component that maintains the efficiency and safety of the electrolyzer. Gas Purification After separation, the produced gases may still contain impurities or byproducts. Therefore, they undergo a purification process. This step ensures that the hydrogen and oxygen gases meet specific purity requirements, which is crucial for their intended applications. Various methods, such as pressure swing adsorption or membrane separation, are used to purify these gases. To summarize, water input, deionized water is introduced into the electrolyzer. Electrolysis, electric current splits the water into hydrogen and oxygen gases. Gas separation, a diaphragm separates the gases to prevent mixing. Gas purification, the gases are purified to meet required standards. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this overview of the basic process of alkaline electrolyzers has provided you with a clear understanding of how these systems work. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll discuss the advantages of alkaline electrolyzers. Don't forget to subscribe to the EPC Land YouTube channel to keep up with our educational series on green energy. Thank you, and see you in the next video.